Clean up utility line geometry. When working with designs, it is inevitable that changes to the design geometry will be required. Attributes such as level, color, line style, and weight are easily modified in a variety of ways. Modification can be applied individually or to multiple elements. In this lesson, you will observe utility line information and make changes to element attributes. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will learn change element attributes, View Element Properties, Element Selection. Open the proposed site plan DGN file. This is located in the folder MS Basics Civil DGN 03 using General Tools. Go ahead now and zoom in to the location here. Observe the geometry. With element selection as the active tool, position the cursor over the line segment to the left of the shared pool symbol. The tooltip displays showing the name of the level the element is drawn on. This line represents an overhead electric line. Place the cursor over the line segment to the right of the shared pole and observe that the tooltip displays the default level. Take note, both line segments represent overhead electric lines, but the line to the right was drawn with the wrong attributes. Next, we're going to edit the existing utility line reference file. Go ahead now and position the cursor over either line segment. Press and hold the right mouse button to open the context menu. From here, we're going to go ahead and pick Exchange. This opens the file. XUtil DGN as the active design file. From the Home tab, in the Modify Ribbon group, pick Change Element Attributes. Enable the following options in the Tool Settings window. Active Attributes, Level, Color, Style, and Weight, all to by level properties. Set the level to CL Construct DP. What we're going to do next is match the existing electric line attributes and modify the incorrect line work. In the tool settings window, pick Match Element Attributes, the eyedropper icon. Now, pick the electric line. Observe the updated attributes in the tool settings window. Next, pick the electric line that was drawn incorrectly. The line now updates, displaying the correct attributes. We will now verify these settings. From the keyboard, press Escape. MicroStation returns to the Element Selection command. Reset will terminate the command, but with most tools, the command stays active. Escape terminates the command and returns MicroStation to the Element Selection tool. Take note, use of the Escape key was enabled in User Preferences in a previous lesson. From the Home tab, in the Primary Ribbon group, pick Properties. The Properties dialog opens. This dialog may also be docked into the interface. With a data point, pick the line that was just modified. The properties of the line are displayed. In General Properties, you can see that the level is Electric, Serve, Wire, and Color, Line Style, and Weight are by level. Deselect the element by placing a data point in a blank area. Now, pan to the right. Here you will find several additional electric line segments that need to be updated. Next, we're going to modify and update a group of additional electric line segments. With element selection as the active tool, pick one of the lines. Press and hold the control key, selecting the remaining line segments adding them to the selection sets for a total of three lines. View the properties. Here, you can see the three lines and the general properties as they apply to the selection set. 
all of the lines are all on the default level, have color and line style of zero, but the weight varies. In the properties dialog, set the following for the selection set. For level, elect serve wire. For color, line style, and weight, set these all to by level. The elements update as each attribute is changed. Take note, the updates were processed. However, the changes may not be apparent while the elements are highlighted. Deselect an element by placing a data point in a blank area anywhere in the view, observing the changes. Now we're going to return to the proposed site plan. From the Manage View Groups, click Previous View Group. This will return you to the proposed site plan DGN file. Apply the Save View subdivision. Go ahead now and fit the view, and then Save Settings. During this lesson, you learned how to clean up the geometry in the utilities drawing by changing elements that were placed with the wrong attributes. This was done by using the tool Change Element Attributes. These changes can be made individually on a per element basis or in bulk using the element selection command. Changes were then verified by viewing the properties of elements using the properties dialog. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.